Hi everyone and welcome to TRB Sports Cricket Update as we prepare for Game 3 at Eden Park in Auckland. And on the back of Game 2, Simon Dool, former Black Cap, cricket analyst, man of many hats. Is it too much to say it's Brendan McCullum versus Sri Lanka at the moment? It is at the moment, Staffy. Yeah, real. Um, it's just that top order is failing outside of Brendan McCullum. It seems like uh, we're not getting the runs we need. Ross Taylor struggled in Hamilton. He'll get better as the series goes on. You're still looking at that top four, though. The other ones that are having to score the runs. The surfaces are good. It was a great wicket in Hamilton. And uh, the Sri Lankans proved that. So I'd still be looking at that top three, top four as my run scorers, my leading run scorers in that New Zealand side. Well, let's have a look at um, the Sri Lankan side now because, wow, that's balanced mm. and deep. And at the top of the order, I'm, I'm thinking Sangakara and Jaya Wardner, but it's deeper than that. Yeah, it is. Uh, Dilshan and, and Jaya Wardner have scored hundreds, one in Christchurch, one in Hamilton. So maybe it's Sangakara's turn. You might be on to that, uh, Staffy. But they do. They go even deep in that. Tiramana coming in, Matthews coming in. They've got plenty of talent in that top six, top seven. They're proving their worth at the moment, and they're batting better than New Zealand. And as far as the bowlers are concerned, the spinners, they're undoing New Zealand, so take your pick and back one. Yeah, it's looming as a fantastic series. One all at the moment. Game three is very tight in the head to head market as well. We look forward to Auckland and then we're off down south to Nelson and Dunedin, but we'll catch up with you before all that happens.